this is terrible. We're gonna have to clean this crap up. Look at this crap. Yep. People come in here, and this is the great outdoors, and this is how they cheat the crap? Yeah. I'm about to swear, so if I do, man, we can bleep this shit, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, man. I hey. apologize now in advance for anybody that I offend for this, but this is more offensive. Yeah, what the hell? Hey, like, look at the amount of garbage up here. You guys are gonna come and burn pallets. Are you burning mattresses and beds and shit? And you're calling yourselves great Canadians? And look, look at this. So far, I have ha I found shell casings all over the place here. Okay. Yeah. 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 What a kind of a good gunny goes and leaves their garbage all over the place. What kind of a proud uh, person who rides an ATV and comes out here camping and leaves this kind of shit laying all over the place? Yeah, but look at, I'm, I'm, we're finding nails from pallets all over the place to puncture tires. I mean, what the hell's with this shit? Look at, it's like a metal pit here. Like, come on people, pick, pick. If you can come in, you can take it out with you. There's no reason for leaving it to people like us are gonna have to come in and clean up. Look, 762 by 39 casings sitting here. I mean, uh, we got some 22 casings. We got some nine millimeter casings. It's great to have cars. Look at this, look at this. Look at the casings here. Donnie boy. Seven, six, two by 39. Whoever's buying this stuff can buy this ammunition by the crate. Come on. You have targets yeah. to shoot at, but why does that have to be yeah. here? You, you brought it in, take it out. Yeah, I, I shoot these things too. Take them out of here. They're great. What's They're with great. your boxes? You can't burn that or at least take them out in your Timmy's cups, you bunch of lazy slobs. Yeah. So anyway, Canadian Firearms Network is pissed off. Yes, we're pissed off. So, we're going to be uh, trying to get some friends down here and I'm going to contact some companies that maybe got rental companies that so we can get a uh, power, you know, one of those power brooms with the motor on the back of it. We're going to see if we can get up here because there's literally broken glass, nails, garbage absolutely everywhere, mattresses. See if we can get somebody with a bin or uh, I might have to bring my trailer in here. But this, I don't this, even want to know the story how that got there. Yeah, why is somebody losing their pants here? Care, Bunch care. of slobs. So the thing is, like, clean up your shit, people. If you're going to go target practice, shoot. Don't go leaving parts of your boat laying around here. You want to camp, have a great yeah. time in this beautiful, great outdoors. And your bunch of slobs are leaving it all over the place. Honestly, if Canadian Firearms Networks comes across any of you shitheads out there that are doing this, gonna we're going to video you and stick you up. Clean up your bloody mess. We will expose you. Clean up your shell casings. Take your beer bottles back. If you break them and drop them, they're going to clean up the glass at least. I found on moose trails and stuff, Rambles Run, you really think you should be wounding animals with your broken beer bottles because you're too drunk and stupid to pick it up? Fucking slobs. Yeah, I love anyway. and everything, but I need retarded here. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, check this out. Nice so anyway, that's the message for the Canadian Firearms Network. Telling you people to start using your brains.